You did it. You've adopted a low carb diet. You're feeling better and you've lost the weight you wanted to lose. Now, how will you ever keep up the good work on your own? You're watching Healthy Living in the Four Corners, brought to you by Habit. I'm Wendy Graham Settle. You've lost the weight you wanted to lose. Now you want to keep it off for good. Professional nutritionist Jolie Ensign says maintaining your new low carb eating habits will become a permanent lifestyle change with intent, attention, and time. Transitioning from weight loss to maintenance or just how to maintain a low carb lifestyle. First, figuring out your carb tolerance. What is that sweet spot or amount of carbs per day to help you maintain? Typically, it's 100 grams of carbs per day. Sometimes people can maintain on 150 grams per day or less of carbs. But figuring that out for yourself, doing some self-experimentation, keeping a log, uh, paying attention to your body. Creating that body awareness is huge. Noticing your cravings, your hunger, um, what you're feeling in the way of emotions, moods, your sleep, your stress, all of those things be paying attention to and seeing how your food choices affect all of those things. Learn how to find flavorful substitutes for your high carb favorites that you can incorporate into your menus. Try mashed cauliflower as a substitute for mashed potatoes, spaghetti squash for pasta, or giant sauteed portobello mushrooms instead of buns for your hamburgers. The internet is filled with substitution ideas, or you can work with Ensign to design a personalized menu. But then you find that nothing in the world can substitute for a chocolate eclair, and you succumb to temptation. Ensign says treats are a part of life. Just don't let the occasional lapse from your low-carb diet spiral you into guilt or trick you into abandoning your good nutrition habits altogether. You will have those life events or that special food that you want to still have, plan for it, accommodate for it. Uh, again, it's that if you're going off plan, do it with intention, make it count, and then get right back on plan. If you get off plan, don't let it spiral you out of control. I think I mentioned my metaphor before, if you, have a flat tire, don't go around and slash all your other tires. Fix the tire and move on. Those off-plan moments or those intentional off-plan moments are going to happen. You still want to enjoy life and some of your favorite foods, but again, make it count, make it memorable, make it special, and then get back on plan. When you start your five-week nutrition reset, you will learn how to monitor what you eat, how it makes you feel, and how food affects your energy, emotions, stress levels, and sleep habits. As you maintain that awareness and keep up your new habits, a low-carb diet will soon become a natural part of your regular lifestyle. With a nutrition reset or a transition, it's going to take time, it's going to take that intention, and it's going to take attention to make it long-term and sustainable. And again, being mindful of where you do want to go off plan sometimes and being okay with that, but getting yourself right back on plan and refocusing. If you'd like to know more about adopting and maintaining a low carb diet and lifestyle, visit habitdurango.com. Thanks for watching this edition of Healthy Living brought to you by Habit and the Local News Network. I'm Wendy Graham Settle.